All right, so uh, another one of these tests, 1% significance level. So it says state the alternate hypothesis. So alternate hypothesis is uh, I color and dominant and are dependent because null hypothesis is independent, alternate hypothesis is independent. Expected frequency for a person with blue eyes that's right-handed. So that's this box. So it's row total times column total divided by grand total. So 860 times 251 divided by 1,000. 215.86, which would be two, uh, 216, three significant figures. Uh, it says the critical value is 11.345. Describe what value the null hypothesis should be rejected or rejected. Rejected, sorry. Rejected or accepted. Uh, so if the chi square value is less than 11.345, um, you accept null hypothesis. And if chi square value is more than 11.345, you accept null hypothesis. And it says find the chi square value and make a conclusion. So this data needs to get into our matrices. So second matrix, edit matrix A, we're two by four, two by four, uh, 72, 36, 20, 12, uh, 460, 215, 130, 55. So there's matrix A. <clears throat> When I go back to the matrix, go to matrix not A, matrix B, which is 2 by 4, and then row total, 140, times column total, 532, divided by, it's not 532, 532, divided by grand total, which is 1,000. And then row total, 140, times column total, 251, divided by uh, row total 140 times 150 times 140 times 67 times uh, 860 times 532 divided by 1000. 860 times 251 divided by 1000. 860 times 150 divided by 1,000. And then 860 times 67 divided by 1,000. Okay, so there are our um, expected frequencies. I'm going to drag and drop that into there. Stat, calculate, no, sorry, stat test. I want the chi squared test. Everything's in the right spot. So I'm going to drag and drop that. Out here, bring that one down here, bring that one over there. So the chi squared is 1.03. Uh, so 1.03 is less than 11.345. So we accept the null hypothesis. 